That's right, and Newt Gingrich was, by his own account, a divider and not a uniter, and to some extent contributed to the atmosphere that's very polarized in Washington now, for worse or for better. But you know, Peter, you were talking a little bit earlier about what this ceremony really means. And this is something that George W. Bush is very much aware of, because in the 2001 inaugural, in his speech, he said, we sometimes feel that our differences are so deep, he said, that it seems as if we share a continent, but not a country. He said, we must not accept that. And in a way, things are even more divided now, as you were saying before. That's one of the things that this ceremony can do. We have very few unifying national ceremonies. One thing I noticed a little bit earlier on screen, John Kerry is at this ceremony with his wife, Stephen, Teresa. Stephen, that doesn't Stephen. always happen. When, an, uh, when a defeated candidate is not an outgoing president, oftentimes they're not there. Barry Goldwater wasn't, George McGovern wasn't, Walter Mondale wasn't either, so perhaps this is one small contribution to a more unified country. Thank you, Michael. Mr. Mueller of the FBI.